Dancing Zombie, thank you for being the one to clear the stage. Congratulations, you got yourself the Jade Crown of Silver! What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome back to another event video here on the channel with your cyborg host and his trusty psychic, Mr. Bob and Cyber. And as you guys can already tell from the title, you're here to find out how in the heck to get the Jade Crown and the Jade Key. So as you can see on my character, I'm really rocking it right now without any clues being released. So it's absolutely insane. And if you guys want to get it too, then be sure to stick around till the end of the video. I'll show you guys a complete walkthrough of what to do. But if you guys are pumped to get this jade key before any clues be sure to drop a like down below subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and let's just hop skip and jump right into this because i want all of you to get this jade crown as well so i switched over to my alt account sherman jones because i already have the jade crown i can't show you guys how to get it if I already have it. So we got the Copper Crown and Sherman Jones. And what you're going to want to do is go to the games. Then go to Phantom Forces. I know it's crazy. You wouldn't think that Phantom Forces out of all the games has an event in it. I don't think I've ever seen Phantom Forces have an event in the longest. No, I've never seen it actually have an event since I started Roblox. So maybe they've had one before. But no one expected one to be here. But I guess... That's how they got us, because it was here. So what you guys are going to want to do is play one of two maps. You can play this one, which is the crane map with uh, one big crane. Everyone camps on it. I'm getting shot right now. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. Oh, I died. This is one of the maps. The other one is the one with the long bridge. Both of these maps that I just mentioned have a specific location where you guys need to go. In this map, it's way over here. In that building right over there where I was just at and I died in, there is a green bending machine. Machine. And I'll show you guys in just a second. So this vending machine right here, the green one, the only one with a grid on it. You guys are going to have to go to that. Now in the other map, the one with the long bridge, it's actually in one of the buildings upstairs. There's like one or two red ones and then beside it is a green one. You guys are going to have to go to that one because it also has a grid. Essentially just look for a vending machine with a grid. So here we are. Everyone's doing it right now. So if you're not doing it by now, you got to be on it. Now when it comes to the screen, you're probably wondering what the heck do you do? What you're going to have to do guys is turn this entire thing gray so you have to get rid of all the bright white that you see on the screen there and for each person it's a different randomly generated thing so don't worry when other people shoot at it it's not gonna affect you the big issue though is trying to do it while people are killing you non-stop like i'm gonna be killing this guy right here and then i'm gonna be killing this guy and then this guy see like that's as easy as that everyone goes there to try to do the thing and it's so hard to get it it took me quite some time guys i'm not gonna lie i actually did it on the other map i feel like that one's a bit easier i want to do it but the other team wants to do it too so it gets pretty it gets pretty hard to actually do this i'm just gonna stay right here and talk about the fact that this thing can get pretty hard because this puzzle is called lights out when you shoot one of the grid pieces the other four around it do the opposite so it's it's really weird i'll show you guys in a second but i'm probably gonna get shot and die so when you shoot the white as you can see the ones that were already white beside it got turned into gray and the ones that were gray turned into white so gosh dang hard with people coming in and out constantly like look this guy wants to do it and then probably his teammate wants to do it you know everyone's and their dog wants to do this right now but i'm gonna take advantage and you're gonna have to shoot see you have to get rid of this white and turn it all gray that's the whole point of this process and it's hard because people come after you and try to kill you while you're doing it let's do this guys here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm getting my way down. There we go. Maybe by hitting these. Two, three, uh, four. And then... Oh, wait. One, two. Yes, we did it. There we go. You obtained the Jade Key. Check your melee weapons in the menu. And that's exactly what you guys have to do. If you need some help, I'm going to give you guys a link down below with a little puzzle solver. Right here is the DDO Veil puzzle solver. Essentially, what you got to do to figure out this puzzle, it's a bit tricky because the ones that are lit up right now are actually the ones that were colored black. Click on the edit right over here. And as you see, everything lights up. Even though it's lit up, pretend it's the gray in the section. So the ones that I had before was this. I shot a bunch of times and before I started doing the puzzle, this is what I was left with, but opposite. As you can tell right now, these six of them were lit up and the rest of them were dark. Then what you're going to want to do is simple, just go to solve. And there you go. What you guys see as ones on the screen are the exact locations where you need to shoot on the grid. And if you guys recall, those are the exact places that I ended up shooting on my grid to solve the same problem. And this is just to make it a lot easier for you guys. So once you guys get the grid, 
did, you'll get this Jade Key. And if you go to your weapon loadout, go into your melee down here, you'll notice that you have J Key. Make sure to equip it, but hit F to switch to your melee. And as you can see, you're holding the Jade Key. And I'm gonna, oh jeez, what are you doing guys? I was just showing people the Jade Key. Gosh, they really don't like people getting the Jade Key. But you're probably wondering, Okay, you have the Jade Key, but you don't have the Jade Crown. Well, because this is just part of it. This is the first of three things that you have to do. Once you get this Jade Key, you're going to have to go to a specific map. The neighborhood map. And here we are in the neighborhood map, also known as Suburbia. I didn't know the exact name for it, sorry guys, until I got in here. But this is the one you have to go to. By the way, one of my favorite maps. But that's besides the point. What you're gonna have to do is go to the middle of the entire map. So where all the action's happening, <laughs> you're gonna have to try not to die. What you're gonna wanna do is go to this blue house. Go upstairs and take out your melee weapon, which should be the key if you did what I said before. Then go right over here. As you can see, this door has a keyhole. So the blue house in the middle across from the orange has the keyhole upstairs. You just walk right up to it and knife. And then it says, you found the gate, prepare to be moved to the third and last stage. And this one actually moves you into a totally new game. This I would say is probably the hardest part if you're new to what this game mode is. This is zombies. If you played a lot of Call of Duty in your day, especially the Black Ops series and, and World at War, then you guys should be very familiar with what to do. You spawn in with an infinite ammo AK-47. I believe this is an AK. I, I don't quote me on this one. I could be wrong. And as well as a shotgun. Although it's a pain to reload this little this little sucker. It takes a long time to reload. So honestly, I would only recommend using the shotgun when things get really bad. Like when when you're out of ammo on your AK and you have to escape as soon as possible. Whip out! Oh, oh geez! Oh geez! Whip out this shotgun and you should be safe. For most of it, just use your AK-47. It does makes it a lot easier and reload whenever there's no one really around you because you don't want to get caught off guard and you have like two bullets inside your magazine. Now, hey, buddy, what's going on? Get out of here. So as you can see on the bottom left, it shows the round and the amount of zombies left in each round. What you guys have to do is survive seven rounds total without dying. Now you can take damage. These zombies do do quite a bit of damage, honestly. And you regen really, really slowly. I believe at the end of every round, you get like 10 or 20 HP. So I recommend just staying away and running away from zombies because you, you don't want to die. One other thing about this though, is that zombies tend to get stuck somewhere around the map half the time so you gotta go find them and there we go now we cleared the first stage and we're moving on to stage number two i believe every stage does get a bit harder with these guys having a bit more health and running a bit faster now don't quote me on that I, it might just be my eyes just deceiving me but i swear that's what it was like and you see this guy's getting really close i don't like it and I don't like all these guys. Get get out of my way. Oh, jeez. And then there's, a, there's the jumpsuit, man. Always watch your back. I had a problem with this, and I had to do it, like, three times over because I don't watch my back, and I end up, like, shooting like this. And then one guy, zombie, comes out of nowhere and eats me from behind. Don't be like me. Be smart. And always check your surroundings. Always look behind you constantly. And always reload when you have a bit of a chance. Those are probably my pro tips, I would say, for the zombies. The last pro tip, actually, would be when it starts getting more and more hectic, so in the later rounds, when you start having, like, 80 zombies come after you. Right now, we're in round three with 40 zombies, but when it doubles that amount, I would recommend staying around in these main areas and just going around in a constant circle across the entire map. Because if you stuff yourself up in, say, this corner right over here, you're gonna cause yourself... To pretty much die there's like no way you're gonna survive don't do you see what i mean don't be like me don't be like me oh my gosh oh no 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 i i was trying to show you guys what not to do and i ended up being there for too long but now you're all lined up for me oh yes honestly i think this little third step in the whole process is pretty cool it's bringing back those memories from black ops 2 when i used to play a lot of zombies and it's a cool game mode. they should really implement this in phantom forces i think a lot of people would enjoy zombies in phantom forces itself i I mean, I love Phantom Forces. I play a lot of that on my main account. And where the heck is this last character? Where are you at? I got one more person. This happens a lot, guys. So you got to search the whole map. Oh, there you are. And there we go. Round number four has begun. And what I like to do is go over on this side because you get to shoot a lot of them that fall out from right over here. They fall out from both of the windowsills. And look at that. They're already there. You just shoot them. You just shoot them all while they come in. Oh, my goodness. They all spawn there. And it makes it easier to shoot. And okay, wait. Boom, he's dead. Boom, he's dead. 
Boom, he's dead. He's dead. Honestly, the first time I tried this, this was very hard. But now, it's really not. I kind of know how the zombies move. So, if you guys do fail a few times, don't worry. You won't have to do anything all over again except for the rounds. That's the only thing you have to do. You don't have to go back into Phantom Forces to get a Jade Key or anything like that. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No. What the? Oh my gosh, I got stuck. I didn't know you could do you could get stuck, okay guys? I didn't know that was a thing. I don't want to lose right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Round four is almost done though. Woo -hoo! Here we go. Just waltz right in. Oh yes, yes. All those kills. Mm-mm-mm. It's always good to get them in the hallways too, through the doorways, because you get you just rack up those kills. They just keep waltzing right in. But always watch behind, like I said before. You might get caught off guard, and that's not the great Oh my, oh my goodness, there are so many. There are so many. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, here, yep, yep, just waltz right in. Oh yes, yes, so many kills, mm, mm, mm. I am the best at zombie hunting. It's like zombie rush, zombie attack all in one with Phantom Forces. Honestly, it's so fun to do. I, I would play this over and over again if I had, oh jeez. Uh, Galaxy Man. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. There were a few people that just, like, spawned there. Okay, all right, all right, all right. It's it's getting excessive now. It's getting to the point where there's, there's quite a few of these guys. Hey, no, don't come from behind. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Where did you... You just spawned out of nowhere, dude. And here we are at the final round. Round number 80. Oh, my gosh. They're just spawning in. Oh, my goodness. They, they spawned in. They spawned in pretty... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He's spawning right there. Right there. Right in front of me. Oh, my gosh. Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. How, how's it all going? How, how y'all doing today? But you always got to watch your back. Oh, jeez. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. I stepped right into that one. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I'm not dying today. Not today. Not today, boys. Not today, boys. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it through round number seven, whether they like it or not. And it's going to be... I wonder how many people are behind me right now. It's going to be quite a few. Oh, not too many. Not too many right now. Okay. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now I'm just going to jump over. And uh, there we go. Now, uh, aim and shoot. We got a lot of people rolling in. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy, holy cow. Holy, holy whack a holy whack -a holy whack -a moly. That's a lot. That's a lot of people. We're gonna we're gonna make our way over here. I have 20% left, but I'm gonna shoot these guys down. Just just a little bit of them. We can make my way down. Oh, down! Walk it fast when you get out of my way. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, get out of my way. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, thank you for that. You guys are all just gonna sit there right up for me. Oh, perfect. Don't mind if I didgeridoo. Now you guys are gonna walk up here. Okay. I don't want to go too close, because, yeah, they're gonna... They're gonna start walking up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so the hilarity ensues. And now we got 19 people remaining. But it's okay. They're, like, pretty much all there in front of me. I can just spam shoot them all. Doo doo doo. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I said... Oh, gosh, there's so many of them. Wait, there's only six remaining. Get out of here. There are only six of you remaining. I got this. In the bag. In the bag. Come on. Come on. Where's the last two? Where are the last two? Hey, it's Dancing Zombie. Thank you for being the one to clear the stage. Congratulations. You got yourself the Jade Crown of Silver. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Jade Key and the Jade Crown of Silver. So be sure to do everything that I just showed you in today's episode. Take all my tips and little tricks that I showed you. And you, too, can have a Jade Key and Jade Crown just for yourself. It's going to be great. If this helped you out, guys, be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And see you guys all around for the Crystal Key. But until then, this is Twisted Pandora signing off. And as always, don't forget to stay snazzy. Oh,